Welcome back to KSLA News 12. All eyes are on the skies today for the Great American Eclipse. And KSLA News 12 is live in Idabel, Oklahoma. We are so lucky, Chris. We are actually in the path of totality. Yeah, we, we mentioned the times earlier um, when, when things really get started late in the afternoon. So you have plenty of time uh, as of right now. What is 1053 right now? So you got a little bit of time to yeah. get up to Idabel if you can and watch some of the excitement, watch history happen right before our very eyes, Bisky. Exactly. So as you mentioned earlier, the partial totality starts starts at 1228. Full totality is at 146, and then partial totality again at 307. And I'll say it again, Bisky, you're the smartest person. You're, you're way I'm smarter than me. I'm just keeping these numbers my, in my mind. My memory is way, 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 way jaded. It's, uh... <laughs> no, but you remember where we're at, and yes. you need to be here because Idabel, Oklahoma is where everybody is heading today. And that's why we had to bring in the mayor of Idabel to tell us a little bit about the preps as everybody's been getting ready. I think your town is really excited. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. We, uh, we've been having meetings for like the last six or eight months about this year, uh, getting it all prepared, prepping for it with the uh, street department, our police department, just a team effort, Chamber of Commerce, uh, many local groups, just a team effort. You know, one thing I, I, it really amazed me uh, since I got to Idabel uh, yesterday were, were how much time went into planning. Seven years, that's, that's incredible stuff, man, seven years. When you have that much planning, I mean, what goes into all that? Well, you know, the difference is, Idabel, Oklahoma, we're not used to having big events. And, I, you know, when we was planning, I said, guys, it's not like we're preparing for a football game, NFL game every other week. This is all new to us. So we had to have time. We had to strategize, you know, a lot of work into it. Mm -hmm. You guys have done a really good job of planning, making sure that you've thought of everything, whether it was traffic or maybe needing more bathrooms on site. Even yesterday, we talked to the hospital, the McCurtain Memorial Hospital said that, you know, we brought in extra staff. We increased our staffing by about 30% just to make sure in case, you know, heaven forbid there were any incidents that everybody can be taken care of in a timely manner and everything's been great and we're going to keep it that way. That's, that's our hope. Yes. You know, when you see, we were talking earlier with, with Miss Jackie from uh, the Idabel Chamber of Commerce, seeing the traffic come through here, of course, it's always tough. You know, like you said, planning for a football game. You got to have police officers out there to, to divert traffic. Say if you're going to OU or LSU or whatever, having to get police officers, how to get everyone on the same page where cars should go, how easy or difficult is that as a mayor? Well, it's, it's kind of difficult, but we had a map. We put in a mapping system, and, you know, the state was really nice to send extra uh, state troopers. I was telling someone earlier that we only have 11 motorcycle state troopers in the state, and all 11 was here in, in McCurry County. Wow. So the state was really nice and kind to us. I think we had an extra 150 state troopers in, so... We just had a lot of help here. Hmm. I mean, it's a big event for Southeast Oklahoma. So, But that's it. We want everybody to realize what a big deal Idabel is. You know, everybody's been talking about the fact that they want to have events like this every weekend now in Idabel because it puts such a spotlight on you and stuff that, you know, the folks of Idabel realize make Idabel great. Everybody in the world is getting to see that right now. Right. Yeah. I mean, Idabel is a clean city. We're a good city here. I mean. We're in rural, you know, I tell folks this, we're in rural America. We're in rural Oklahoma, and this is the first time an event this size has came to our front door. So we're excited, very excited. Well, that being said, you had people coming from all over the world. I, I was talking to people yesterday from Saudi Arabia, from Denmark, from uh, from Hawaii, from, from Wyoming. What's the craziest place, what's the furthest place you've heard so far? I think Denmark uh, wow. is the far as I, you know, but the thing about it, we have 24 states represented here. Mm -hmm. uh, we put up a web page and ask folks to check in which state they're from. So we have 24 states represented, and we have somewhere here from the District of Columbia. So, and then we even have some folks here from Alaska. I talked to someone early from Seattle, Washington. So, folks came in. Now, just out of curiosity, is there? A, do you know how many people are coming from which state, or where most of the foot traffic is coming from? I really don't. But on our web page, we asked them to put numbers in, so we can once it's old, we can know, you know, kind of have a. I guess the estimate of what we had here. Yeah, it's a great way to keep up with all of the folks that have been coming throughout the area. And, you know, folks are still pouring in right now, but a lot of planning went into this, not just for the city of Idabel, but I know that you guys have had reservations that folks made years and years ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of different that, you know, I was talking to some folks who made reservations for this here for like four years ago. Wow. A lot of planning. A lot of planning. Well, 
the excitement continues all day long, Chris. We are going to be checking in throughout the day. We don't want you to miss out on any of the Great American Eclipse coverage live right here on KSLA News 12.